After creating a pivot table, you can create a pivot chart to display its summary values graphically. On the Analyze tab under the Pivot Table Tools Contextual tab, click the Pivot Chart Command button in the Tools group. The Insert Chart dialog box opens. Click the thumbnail of the type you want and then click OK. Excel displays two things in the same worksheet as the pivot table. First, you can see the pivot chart using the type of chart you selected. This can be moved and resized as needed. Second, the Pivot Chart Tools Contextual tab is now divided into three tabs, Analyze, Design, and Format. Each tab comes with its own set of buttons for customizing and refining the pivot chart. Although Excel automatically creates all new pivot charts on the same worksheet as the pivot table, you may find it easier to customize and work with it if you move the chart to its own sheet in the workbook. Begin by clicking the Analyze tab under the Pivot Chart Tools Contextual tab. Click the Move Chart button in the Actions group. The Move Chart dialog box opens. Click the New Sheet button. If you'd like to rename this sheet, simply enter the new name in the accompanying text box. Click OK. The Move Chart dialog box closes, and the new chart sheet with your pivot chart opens. When you graph the data in a pivot table using a typical chart type, such as a column, bar, or line that uses both an X and Y axis, the row labels appear along the X axis at the bottom of the chart, and the column labels in the pivot table become the data series that are delineated in the chart's legend. The numbers in the values field are represented on the Y axis that goes up the left side of the chart. You can use the drop-down buttons to filter the charted data just like you do the values in the pivot table. Remove the check mark from the Select All or All option, and then add a check mark to each of the fields you still want represented in the filtered pivot chart. An axis field filters the categories that are charted along the x-axis at the bottom of the chart, while a filter filters the data charted along the y-axis on the left side of the chart. The legend fields will filter the data series shown in columns, bars, or lines in the chart body and identified by the chart legend. Finally, you can use values to filter the values represented in the pivot chart. The command buttons on the Design and Format tabs attached to the Pivot Chart Tools Contextual tab make it easy to further format and customize your pivot chart. Use the Design tab buttons to select a new chart style or even a brand new chart type. Use the Format tab buttons to add graphics to the chart as well as refine their look.